The sheep CRC's new DNA flock profile test has changed the way Victorian merino breeder Stuart Warner looks at his flock and how he is approaching his future genetic selections. Mr Warner, along with his parents, Graham and Gwen, and wife Katie, runs a mixed farming enterprise at Beechworth in Victoria, which includes 500 composite ewes and 1,200 merino breeders. We did the flock profile to just get a line in the sand measurement of exactly where we're up to now um, and to really check how well we're going against our breeding objective to see where we are. Mr Warner uses the Australian Sheep Breeding Values, or ASBVs, as an objective genetic selection tool for sheep and DNA test results show his flock is tracking well against his breeding objectives. Our fleece weight that we cut off them on a per animal basis could be a little bit higher and I might have in the back of my mind always thought well that's just a, a factor of how hard we push the sheep. Um, the DNA flock profile shows us that whilst we are better than average we could be a little bit higher there as well. And it has opened his mind to new ways of pursuing those goals. Key changes I see us making in our breeding program as a result of the flock profile work is that we will use less rams but more powerful rams. Rams will have a bigger impact on our breeding objective. I've certainly got some rams in my ram team that are plus 20% and greater, um, but there's a few rams perhaps in my ram team that are down around maybe the plus 10, plus 9, and you can see, I think, the impact that those rams are having in holding back our, our clean fleece weight. So maybe there's a thought there that they might get the chop and get cold. The flock profile involves randomly sampling 20 young ewes for DNA testing with genetic links then identified with animals of known breeding values from the Information Nucleus database to obtain a prediction of their flock's average breeding values scale to ASBVs for major merino traits such as yearling weight, fleece weight and fibre diameter as well as the indexes for fibre production, merino production and dual purpose. Mr Warner says the test results are particularly powerful for commercial breeders who have never had access to this level of genetic benchmarking before. Ram Select and this DNA flock profile now give us as commercial guys a lot more power and really good tools that we haven't had available to us in the past. By combining the test's benchmark data with the Ram Select genetic selection app, Mr Warner feels confident in the improvements to his flock. I'm targeting a 20 kilogram carcass weight merino weather lamb um, at, un at around 12 months of age, Sean once. Um, at the moment I'm probably easily enough doing 16 to 18 kilograms. So, you know, that's a four kilogram gain that I'm looking for in the same time frame. That's, that's a, a significant sort of target to aim for. Mr Warner plans to use the flock profile test every three to four years to update the snapshot of his flock's performance, all part of his approach to remaining competitive by constantly reviewing and improving his flock management. There's some great tools coming out of the CRC that are available to us. Ram Select is one of those tools. This project is one of those tools and they've both come out of the work that the CRC has done and the delivery of that information the packaging of the, that information um, is work that the CRC has done um, to make it really accessible to commercial producers. It's simple to use, um, it's readily available, it's there, get into it really.